What's up guys? Welcome back to 806 Driver. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Been with us for a while. Welcome back, y'all. Well, it's been a while. Today is December 24th, 2020. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve. Back when I was a kid, this is when we always celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. But uh, I told y'all in my last video, as soon as I made the switch, I'd get back with y'all. And well, we made the switch. We went and picked up our, we went and picked up the truck today. And well, there's a glimpse. You also caught a glimpse at the beginning of the video, but what we have here is a 1997 Peterbilt 379. Got a big old cow catcher on it. Guys, I know she don't look the part of old La Flama Blanca, but this is a dang good truck. I actually ran it last weekend for a day hauling some cotton seed and it's got this thing rides like a cadillac i mean it rides good it's got peterbilt low air leaf which the truck i was driving just had regular air leaf on it so this one sets a little bit lower and them low air leafs usually ride by a little better got a 3406 e model cat this one is only set at 435 it is not set at 550 as of right now uh, so it is a little bit lacking in power but uh, talking to my new boss man and everything I think I think we're gonna look at doing something to it brand new uh, manifold and turbo down the road uh, different injectors and put a 550 tune in it um, has a 15 speed transmission I think that's another thing he's wanting to change on it too is uh, we're going to pull that 15 speed out and put a 13 speed in it. So he put brand new brand new rubber, brand new steer tires on it yesterday. Um, as far as drive tires, it's got excellent drive tires on it still. A lot of tread, a lot of tread. They still look real good. Fifth wheel's in good shape. Here's the low air leaf. Well, you can kind of, quick way to tell low air leaf from regular air leaf. You see this platform right here that the air blades sit on? Low air leaf has those. Uh, regular air leaf has a pedestal on each side. You know, what happens, these, these trucks ride a little bit lower to the ground than the one I had than the regular air leaf. And I, I kind of prefer, prefer the low air leaf uh, suspension. It's just a lot smoother. And I kind of like my truck sitting down the ground. Truck still got dual 150 tanks. One thing kind of cool, guys, we're going to call this old truck, we're going to call her, uh, I think we're going to call her Rat Rod. I was kind of, kind of trying to decide between Mad Max and Rat Rod. And, uh, as far as lighting on it, everything is incandescent on it. The only LEDs this truck has on it, as of right now, or uh, the high beam headlights are LED. The low, be the low beam headlights are still incandescent. And it's got the LED high beam and it's got LED turn signals on it. I have a set of cab lights that we can change these out with. Uh, they're all incandescent. All these breather lights are incandescent. All the sleeper panel lights are all incandescent. You can look at them until they're old and kind of burn out. But I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, has that old, that old school look to it. But uh, got old incandescent tail lights, which we're fixing to change those out probably today. Got these right here, and we're gonna we're gonna mount those up there. Uh, and I might put a LED light bar. This one has a regular receiver hitch where you can pull like a, a small trailer with or whatever it's got incandescent work lights on the back um i got all my junk in here in the garage it is a mess I gotta get it all straightened up but i'm about to move into this thing y'all i mean uh about to put all my stuff in it 
underneath. Uh, it's got, uh, there we go, American class interior. Got pretty much full gauge package. Um, got a nice radio in it. It's got Sirius XM built into it. It's a heck of a lot nicer interior than old La Flama Blanca had in her. 15 speed, as I said. Uh, I'm going to move that GPS back up here. Where he's got a little Cobra 29 on here. I got my Connex 3300. I need to take it to the CB shop and get it repaired. So, got a good big uh, inverter. I'm not sure if it works. I didn't ask him. Double bunk. But... But yeah, guys, I think uh, I think we're going to do all right. I think we're going to do all right. So uh, I'm about to go get the vacuum, start vacuuming the thing out, wiping everything down, and putting my touches on it. Uh, does need a windshield. We got a crack here. He said we're going to get that replaced when we get a chance. Um, I'm going to polish out these wheels, the box. The tanks are pretty shiny. I just do a light polish on them. They'll shine up good, but get the wheels polished out. It does have straights. Thing sounds good, y'all. Y'all wait, we're going to have some good straights and jakes uh, videos going on here. So, yeah, they sound real good. Uh, we're going to put a visor on it. Just got one of those small eyebrows on it right now. But uh, I'm going to put a drop visor on it. That way I can do my, uh, my sticker work on it. Uh, other than that... We're just going to see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to go out Saturday morning. And uh, we're going to start hauling feed out of Lubbock, Texas on a belt trailer. And I uh, haven't pulled a belt trailer in any of my videos. So uh, it's going to be something new, something different. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot of, lot of running into uh, feed lots, cattle feed lots, and uh, dairies. So... That's kind of what we're going to be starting out doing. We also got a lot of fertilizer work, tanker and hopper bottom. So that's the plan, guys. I'm going to... Sun's already getting low on us, and I got a lot of work to do here. So I'm going to get started, and I'll check back in with y'all in a minute. Tell them what's up, Bubba. What's up? Where you going? Store. Huh? Store. Oh, okay. He's going to get his mama something at the store. So the old rat rod, y'all. I'm pretty stoked about it. I think it's gonna be pretty neat. So, 806 driver. Catch y'all in a minute. He about to get ran over. All right, y'all, a little update. Got the lights mounted. Old one's off. About to start doing my wiring. Get everything wired in here. It is the next day, Christmas day. Uh, got a lot of it rigged out. Got everything under the sleeper. All my toolboxes, tools, all that good stuff. Uh, CB's mounted, got my mic mounted. Uh, got it pretty cleaned up. Still got a lot of work to do, and I don't think I'm going to finish tonight, but... It is what it is. We're gonna have it. We're gonna have a running though. So uh just gonna do a quick check in. I'll check back in after I get these lights mounted and finish putting a few things in here. Now I gotta go get my trailer. And that's where we'll catch back up with y'all when we get in the trailer. We out. Alright guys. Saturday, December twenty-sixth. Got my garage halfway cleaned up. Got our light bars mounted. We're about to go down. We didn't end up having to go in today like I thought we were going to. Um, loads didn't come in, so I think we're gonna go run our gin tomorrow, hauling cotton seed instead of hauling our feed. Um, up on top, I also replaced the cab lights. Put five brand new led cab lights on top Talked to boss man my boss man he said he, he's gonna be getting me a drop visor so uh 
we'll get us a pretty cool drop visor going on. Oh, we got the, the 06 TS 3406, 3406 E model cat, 6 TS prefix. If you look at it here, like I was talking about, you guys, uh, advertised horsepower is 455, max is 470. So that's why this one is just a little bit, quite a bit weaker than the one I was driving over the Flama Blanca. But, like I said earlier in the video here, once we uh, put the manifold turbo, different injectors, put the tune in it, she will be doing all the good. She'll be doing all, all the good. He was gonna rebuild this motor, but Shoot, we got to talking now. I was like, hell, there ain't no sense in rebuilding it if it don't need it now. You can go ahead and do the beefier turbo and the beefier exhaust uh, manifold and uh, injectors. And then when you get ready, when it needs a rebuild, just go ahead and rebuild it. Then got that 15-speed Eaton Fuller transmission in here. She's going to plan on taking that out and putting a 13-speed putting a in. Got some nice old straights on it. The only thing I like doing here, I need to move that mirror out a little bit. Like I said dual 150 tanks. I'm gonna talk to see if I'm talking into buying, instead of buying all new lights for this and everything, and it's, it's all rusted up and everything. See if it will get the blanks, the six inch blanks. They'll come down to about here and we'll put all our lighting on the back side of it. Uh, put like a single watermelon here and then be blank all the way down and maybe a single watermelon here. This will be blank and it will actually come down about right here, blank, all stainless. And then put a um, red LED tube under there and then a red LED tube under here and that will light up the ground and the steps um, on the back. Still got them old halogen work lights, which they're pretty bright. They work pretty good, but I imagine I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a, give me a hole saw, and I'm gonna mount, mount some red lights on the back of this sometime. Get a chance. It's pretty easy to do. It just this, this is real easy to drill through with a hole saw. So we can, we can uh, convert those pretty easy. Just gotta have a day to do it. This is a hydraulic tank for our wet kit cooler. Uh, you, if y'all remember the tanker I pulled over there where I was at. Ran off a little gasoline pony motor. Well, he's got his tankers rigged up to where they also run off of a wet kit. So that's why he's got to have the cooler on here. You got to, when you're turning a a motor, uh, a pump, a motor that drives the pump on the trailer, it generates a little more heat than just running a walking floor. But um, let's go up inside for a minute. Everything kind of put under here one of these days we'll go in we'll have a video on uh what's in your box we'll pull everything out here and kind of go through what all i keep under my box got an exhaust leak here i need to undo this clamp stuff a little bit of aluminum foil back behind there double double or triple it up stick it back there and tighten it back up that'll stop that will stop that uh that leak as far as inside here got my camera mount here for my phone for when i'm doing the uh the dual gram the triple view with the with the gopro going the phone front and back going it stick right up here uh, of course i got my scan gauge and see it's got it's pretty gauged out I think it's kind of dark when I was showing you all this yesterday. I moved, if you remember earlier in the video, my uh, my GPS was down here. He had mounted it down here. I didn't like it down there. I don't like looking down at my GPS, so I found a spot for it and put it up here by the CB. I'm going to be putting my own CB in here for long. I did put my static chrome mic, and I put my Wilson uh, chrome speaker up here behind me. Got all that ran. Uh, a nice little radio. 
said American class interior. I was showing y'all that the other night. Got my normal phone mount here. So when I put it on, then my GoPro mount up here, which that where the GoPro be mounted, you'll be able to miss that big crack we got here. And he did say something about yesterday. We're going to get those fixed here as soon as we get a chance as well. So, uh, sleeper. Don't hate on my Dallas Cowboys. Got my Dallas Cowboys blanket hooked up. Got a big old inverter down here. Got some of my, uh, uh, my impacts and my drills and batteries there. Got a fan up here. Got my uh, booster for my phone in there. Hard hat, safety jacket. So, and also down here, guys, where, uh, where he had that GPS mounted, um, it only has this one 12 volt spot. So that piece of wood, he had that invert. That's where your ashtray normally is in this truck. Well, where that, uh, GPS was mounted, I put two new, uh, or two more 12 volt, 12 volt adapters in there to where I can plug into stuff. So pretty cool. Had to use these clamp, put these clamps on here to keep them from pushing back through there, but that yeah, worked out pretty cool. I think it's gonna be pretty neat so um as far as that we're about to go get hooked up to the trailer uh belt trailer i'm gonna give y'all a little lesson on the belt trailer and how it works and hell other than that i think we're about ready to ride y'all so um i'll end this video today after we get done getting hooked up to the belt trailer and stuff and i'll start a new one tomorrow on the cotton seed haul so Guess we'll get to work here and close this hood up and we'll catch y'all here in a minute.
guys. We made it back to the house here. What we got here is a live bottom, not a walking floor. It is a belt trailer. Pretty much like the same thing that you guys have seen before, only a little different. Still runs off of hydraulics, like I was saying. Wet kit. Got a air suspension dump. And then we got a lift axle. This truck, when we run trailer, when we're running that down the road empty, we can run it, run with this axle in the air right here. So, it's got a tarp, it's like all of them. Right here, are your controls. A little dirty. <clears throat> got a ladder. Tell uh, my cousin had hauled some uh, calcium, some feed some pellets last so i'm probably gonna have to sweep this thing out got some work lights back here but uh i'm gonna show y'all how this uh how this trailer works here and i got familiarized myself with it as well so i'm gonna roll it roll this tarp over and uh, we'll get back with y'all uh, like I said, it's going to be a learning curve with me. I had not never used this trailer before, but we're going to test it out. Same way with that 15-speed transmission. I know y'all heard me grinding a little bit there a while ago, but when you're going from an 18 to a 15, it's going to take me a while to get used to it. You got to go in here. First thing we got to do is go in here and turn on the wet kit. Hear them strikes are humming. Right, right here, pull the raise, lower. So we gotta raise our door up. And I bet it's got, I know it's got some locks on this door. We gotta figure out how to get these locks loose. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Alright, I'm missing something here, y'all. Uh, I about, see what's I about going messed on. up, y'all. One of my hoses wasn't hooked up good. And the, the hydraulics were bypassing. That's why I pulled her down so much. This hose right here, it wasn't hooked up hardly good at all. So, But luckily, that pump will bypass. That's why I wasn't opening it. Now let's go see what's going on. Need to raise the door. Pull the raise. All right. Now look in here. That's the way a belt trailer looks. That's how the bell trailer moves, y'all. Just like that. All right, y'all. There, there was a good example of uh, how the how the floor worked. I guess. Um, also, this trailer has a smaller door right here for when you're hauling uh, like grain or corn or fertilizer, there's a chute right here. Looks heavy, it's not that heavy, it's just all aluminum. Take it off and you bring it back here and it hooks on right here and right here and it 
kind of works as a funnel it'll put all your product right down in the middle like if you're dumping into a pit or to an auger instead of having to open that whole big the whole big door up at once so and when you open it up you do just like this uh pull the raise and there it is raised up here so works pretty cool pretty cool let's see push to lower that's about it guys uh i guess i'm gonna i'm gonna sign off here on this video i'm gonna check all my lights out and just make everything make sure everything's good to go for in the morning uh we'll be getting back with y'all tomorrow and i say this be my first haul with this guy but it ain't my first haul i actually ran last weekend like i told y'all for on a saturday trying stuff out different trailer but uh hell We'll get back with y'all in a little, little bit for 806 driver, Ronnie's Transport. As always, keep the shiny side up and the hammer down. We'll catch y'all tomorrow.